breaking news, my country people. They say trouble they sleep. Iyanga Congo wake up. Now waiting they happen for inside Anambra State. Now so the governor of Anambra State, Charles Soludo, they yab APC. Say all of them na noise makers so. He no get anything where they go feed do. Especially as it relates to Anambra State. Say APC no they exist though for Anambra State. As a party, APC does not exist in Anambra State. So this whole way they won't come, they do gra gra like say now then get the whole Nigeria. Say you know they work like that too. Say Anambra is a different state entirely. Now waiting governor, so Ludo use him out to talk. Say APC does not exist in Anambra. And so Ludo stated this while responding to a statement by the APC that the ruling all progressive grand alliance ABGA would die a natural death in 2025. Now so, APC just day, Waka go meet Abga, begin brag say, he no get as he want to be. As long as say Tinibu de power, as long as say na the APC they rule, say definitely, they will be an, they will be the end of Abga in 2025. That 2025, would be the end of Abga in Anambra State. Say them themselves they prepare. He no get as he want to be. Now speaking via a statement by his press secretary, Mr. Christian Aru uh, Abu Rumi, the governor said that the, that uh, Anambra State is Abga land. Yes. Now it was made known that the APC State Chairman Basel. A G D K spoke from his imagination because no such thing would ever happen in 2025. The governor's press secretary maintained that Anambra is not Imo state to Anambra is not Imo state to is not other states in the southeast that APC can easily come and do away with a lot of things and then they will rig their way into power. It's not possible. They also noted that President Bola Admetinibu is a well-known Democrat and a lover of democracy who will not like interfering with elections in other states. I mean, we've been hearing what Basil AGDK, the state chairman of APC in Anambra, have been saying. It's like he's not a part of people living in Anambra state. He keeps saying that Soludo has done nothing. Maybe he must be going around blindfolded. There are roads for him to see. There are other infrastructures for him to see. There are so many things Soludo is doing. And every normal human being is seeing them. Something must be wrong with Basel, AGDK. He needs to be checked. His entire psychological being needs to be checked to ensure that he is actually a normal human being. Because there is no basis for comparing Eboin and Anambra State. Because Eboin has been a state that was under a governor for eight years. So Ludo is just two years in office. And look at what he has done so far. He can even match up to other states where a governor has been there for eight years. In less than two years, Soludo has turned the entire state into a construction site. It is only a blind man that will say he's not seeing what Soludo is doing in Anambra State. But our consideration lies in the fact that Indi and Ambra are happy with what Soludo is doing and they are ready to support him. So at this point, a note of warning was directed to Barcel AGDK that Anambra is Abga land. And Indi and Ambra will forever support Abga because Abga is naturally the party of Anambra state. APC, according to Abga, does not exist in Anambra state. So its members are just noise makers in the media. Anambra APC is blind to salute those achievements. They are just being mischievous unnecessarily. So my country people, this one, eh, what I don't pass Gary for this matter. It can't be like say APC now they don't they find waiting up gago talk. Because at a point we know that it is only time that will tell. Yes, Soludo is the governor of Anambra State under Abga. We know that for sure. Governor Soludo, his predecessors, those that came before him, had ruled Anambra State on the platform of Abga. 
It has been a consistency. It has been a continuous, you know, um, something, a pattern in Anambra, an Abga, ever since 2003 that Abga was created and formed. Obi emerged, William Sobiano emerged, afterwards Soludo emerged, and that's how it has been, you know, going on and on. Although Soludo came into power two years back, he hasn't completed his first tenor. It's just halfway, and the APC are already issuing threats to the Abga that they are going to die off naturally. They are not going to hold power in 2025. 20, uh, so, my country people, this is a very serious matter, and I can tell you that the Abga, Soludo, they did not take this threat to play. They actually blasted the APC and said that the APC is not even recognizing Anambra state. It is not even recognizing the state that Anambra is not like Imo states. That APC can come and do whatever they like and they will get away with it. That Abga is Anambra and Anambra is Abga. So my country people, make on account chuk mass for this matter. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. AGK leave Anambra for Abga. If you want to be known in Anambra, you can donate street lights. You can tie the roads or do anything you can afford. People know when you do something nice for them publicly. You don't need to become governor of a state before you do good things for your people. If you have any reasonable idea, you can share with your governor. So there is no APC in the state. Agreed. And that is why Anambra will, will never produce president until Kim Dong come. We've always known that Abga is a Biafra land. APC is a satanic enclave and it, it, it detests light. So Ludo should go and sit down. Where are the roads? So Ludo should walk. If he can, please do good work. Do good roads. But that's not if Soludo is planning to decamp to the APC. Nigerian politicians are more slippery than draw soup. You cannot predict their next movements. The fact that Ndibo hates APC, especially Anambra State, APC will never govern Anambra State. Never. Don't defect to the all progressive criminals, APC, later, Soludo. Well, he is another betrayal in your midst, so you need to monitor him accordingly. Your party does not exist in other states, only in Anambra with a one party who is a one party state. Okay, guys, um, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.